guys, Cindy Anna here with My Artsy Endeavors. How are we doing? I'm doing pretty good. Um, today we're going to work on my creative year and we're going to work on this week's prompt, which is use your words. Now, I've already gotten out a piece of paper, so I'm just going to set this aside. And this is what I pulled out of the book. So, yeah, use your words. We're going to play with this. So the first thing I'm going to do is find me some matte medium. This does not have any clear gesso on it, which is fine, and this doesn't either. So, But I did get out some different um, like ephemera stuffs here. So let's, let's get some of these words put down. All right, so we're talking about journaling, and we're talking about using your words. Well, as you guys know, um, I deal with the, the chronic pain. So what I'm going to talk about today is different, um, basically thoughts or maybe um, ways you can use your words. How's that sound? Sounds interesting, doesn't it? Come on, hold still. My brush is a little bit wet because I had to, oh my gosh, I came in here last night. I had a rough uh, sleep night. So I came in last night and I started playing and I had my... My um, water jug was full of brushes. <laughs> it was like, oh no. But, so anyways, we're talking about using your words. I love those. Um, here's a little dictionary page. I don't even know what word it is. Uh, substance, subtract, success, all that kind of stuff. We're just going to cut it up and we're going to put it on here. I don't really want all that part of it or that part of it. I just want the words. So how can you use your words in journaling via chronic pain, right? Um, very simply, um, part of it is write what you feel. And if you don't feel comfortable writing what you feel, um, you need to write more. So it's very, very helpful when you have chronic pain to have a safe place to let go of all of those thoughts and those feelings. and. Whether they're negative or positive, it's a, it's a good thing to do, right? So I'm going to tell you, um, write everything. You've got to write everything. I don't like the color of these for that, so we're not going to use those. I might use a little bit more of that. Let's use this. This is actually, um, I, can't, I think it was Mary Abrams had sent me a goodie, and it was wrapped up in this... Um, print paper. I'm pretty sure it was Mary. I might be wrong. If I am, please correct me. <laughs> um, let me know who sent it. But I just know I love this paper because all it is is words and that's just so cool. So how do we use our words in chronic pain? Um, the first thing I'm going to say is when you go to the doctor, even though it may sound crazy to you, explain exactly how you're feeling. Whether it's um, one of my, my, the biggest ones I say to my doctor is, I feel like I have a really hot steel rod that goes from my tailbone up to about my shoulders. And, you know, they, you may think, okay, well, that's crazy. Well, you know what? The doctors get it. They understand when you say that feeling and they, it helps them to determine, you know, what can they do to help you um, with relief from that pain. So, Definitely use your words when you're talking to your um, your physicians and your doctors and your surgeons. How else can you use your word? In journaling. We talked about that. Uh, we talked about it last week. And like I said, I'm a huge, huge proponent of journaling. And if I could get everybody in the world to journal, I think the world would just be a much calmer place. Um, oh, I like these. Let's take these this alphabet off here. Let's put that right there. All right, so let me dry this up, and then I'm going to come back with some paint, and then I've got some words here that I've actually picked out of my magazine stuffs, and um, they're all right here. So we're going to go through these, and we're going to get them put on a page that's going to look pretty neat, I hope, and we will chat in a minute. I'll be back. Okay, so let me bring you guys in a little bit. Oops, wrong way. All right, so I've got this pretty well dry. Um, we're just gonna play in some paint now and maybe talk a little bit about um, using our words. 
And like I said, one of the biggest one that I use, this is kind of wet, so it's going to be kind of cool. Uh, one of the biggest one I use is, you know, the burning, stabbing pain because it's it's tough. So, um, you know, that's the first thing. When you go to your doctor's appointments, make sure that you use the words. And, you know, it may sound really strange to you, but I guarantee you it does not to the doctor. Because they just, there's so much out there that, you know, we all have issues with. So, um you know, another thing I do when I when I use my words is when I talk to friends, family, spouse, I try to explain it in a way that they will understand also. And sometimes it's harder to do than others because, you know, you, you feel it so much in your body and you say it so much in your head and it's like, you know, I, I've told you before exactly what it feels like. And it's sometimes it makes you think that they may be looking um, or they may think it feels different, but it doesn't. It's always the same pain. It's always the same um, feelings inside as to what's causing that pain. You know, it's just, it doesn't change. Oh, I like that. All right, so I'm going to dry this. I'm going to shoot this real quick with a heat tool. And it was so funny. I was looking for, I went looking for um, a stencil that had um, just miscellaneous letters. You know how they, we have the ones with the, the uh, numbers on it? I couldn't find one in my stencil stash. Now, I didn't go through every stencil. I got a couple more books here I could have went through, but I was just kind of, hmm, kind of disappointed. I couldn't find it. So we're going to use this one. Um, this is a Diane Reilly stencil. And let me see, I want to use a little bit of this light blue. Probably should put it on the book I've got over here, huh? Doo -doo -doo. Let's put it. I've got too much stuff on my desk again. That's what happens when I get playing. I just pile, pile, pile. And then I'll have to unpile before I move on to something else. But all right, so I'm actually going to use a different sponge. This one's icky. Let's get a different sponge out. Again, these are wet because um, I used them last night. So, all right. Okay, so use use your words with your friends and family um, and your spouse. If you are tired, tell them, I'm tired, I'm exhausted. If you don't like how your body's feeling, just tell them, you know, my legs are swelling, they hurt. Or I feel like the inside of me is jello, you know. Um, I'm confused. See, that's icky. Oh, my ear just popped. Somebody's talking about me. Oh. Um, use those words and let them know exactly how you're feeling. Let them know that, you know, um, you don't feel like your legs will hold you up today. It's okay. It is okay to tell them that. They need to know. I'm going to take a little bit of this white. And just put it right here on this page. I'm going to use a little bit of the white. We're just going to put some dots in here. Got to have dots, right? Always have to have dots. Dots, dots, dots. Life is no good without dots. At least that's my belief. All right, so there we got some dots. All right, we're going to dry this up. And then... We're going to go through these and um, put some words down. And then on the back side, um, I'm going to do a play again this week. So uh, for right now, let me dry this up real quick, and we're going to get some words down. I'll be right back. Okay, so here's the words that I picked out. Um, and most of these are either, there's a couple stamps in here, but most of them are cut out of magazines or off packaging or that kind of stuff. So I've got a few of them here. I'm working on myself, for myself, by myself. That one's fantastic. Um, be brave. I think I deserve something beautiful. Hot mess. How much? How many times do we feel like we're a hot mess? I am perfect just the way I am. Uh, what's this one say? Dote on yourself. Uh, you've got to be kind, and I mean that to yourself. There are so many beautiful reasons to be happy. That's a good one. I never expected pain. That's huge. Uh, let's see. She decided she was worth it. 
It's better to take a risk than miss a moment of magic. You might not get over it, but you will get through it. I like this one. So, so far, these three are my winners. Sometimes courage is the quiet voice at the end of the day saying, I will try again tomorrow. I really like that one. Dare to recharge. I'm going to put hot mess over here, too. Um, this was just uh, come out of one of the Somerset magazines, and it's just someone was... Um, playing with their pens and just wrote the same word over and over and over again and the word was hard and you know what I think this one's a huge one so let's take this don't really want the image of the lady so we're gonna move her over here but I liked this because let me tell you um, the days are hard there's there's no doubt about it there's days that are just vicious vicious heart so I think that's a good one and then make them see um, this is about art in the background but when I saw this I thought about hmm you know this is more about making them see being your support system your doctors your relatives your spouse your friends um, all of the above you know your co-workers that kind of thing so this make them see that's what I thought about for this but I think I'm gonna save this for another um, page so for this one, I've got these here. I'm just going to put these over here to the side. Um, let's do that. And I really like these. These are the ones that I want to focus on, that I want to put on here. Now, these are just going to be um, pretty much, ran you know, words that I'm putting on here. It's not, I'm not looking for a specific pattern. I don't want all of this either. So let's take, let's take just this much of it. We get the point, right? And let's just, that way we know it's hard. Um, this right here, this one is huge to me. I never expected pain. And boy, how true is that? And I actually um, saw it written once or heard it somewhere. And the comment was, I didn't choose the pain the pain chose me and how true is that I mean we didn't choose to hurt who would do that who would choose to hurt nobody that I know of so it's not as though I went out and said oh I think it's time for some chronic pain let's let's live with that for the next rest of my life yeah no um, I didn't choose the pain and I never expected the pain so here it is. This is my main focal. I never expected it. This is what I got. So that's going to go in here. I've got hard. This I love. Even though it's in a pink, I don't care. Um, and it's sometimes courage is the quiet voice at the end of the day saying, I will try again tomorrow. And we've all been there. Every single one of us has had to find that courage to wake up again in the morning and say, oh, I can do this, I can do it, I can do it today, it's gotta be better. You know, and that's one of the things that I keep telling myself. If I have a really hard day, I'll be like, you know what, it's okay, tomorrow's gotta be better. So, this one I really like. Um, you might not get over it, but you will get through it. How true is this? You know what, we will make it through this. It's, we all have challenges. Um, some more than others some are seen some are not it's okay we will get through these and we will make it to the other side um, it takes time it takes work it takes patience it takes perseverance it takes courage it takes all forms of things um, to get through to that other side right and then this one <laughs> I just love this. We're a hot mess. I'm actually going to take that out of quotes. Sometimes this is how you feel, right? I just feel like I'm a hot mess. And sometimes I am. I'm just playing a hot mess. It's awful. All right, so I'm going to put you up in here. And this one, I'm working on myself, for myself, by myself. This actually came, um, this is a stamp. I may be wrong on this, but I think this came out of Unity. 
um, their stamp club that I was joined to a while back. I think that's where I found this came in. It came in one of the monthly supplies, uh, the monthly kits. So I really like this because, you know, um, you're the only one that can make the changes. You're the only one that can work on yourself. Um, doctors can do just so much. It takes you to figure out that you're worth it and you can work on yourself. So I was just looking at this and I need more to it. I'm not liking what it is. So let's grab the washi. Let's put some washi on here. Um, how about this one? Today is good. Let's use this. This is a word washi. Right? My kitty cat's over here going Meh. Stir some washi down. Gotta use washi. I love my washi. Alright, there's one piece. Let's put another up here. Let's see now. You know, we have words. This is all about your words. So let's use washi words. Um, doo -doo. Let's use these washi words. If I can find the end of the washi word tag. Roll. There it is. My gosh, I'm seeing so many motorcycles going down through. It's crazy. Let's just put you right here. Why not? Some of you here. And we'll put some of you up here. All right. Okay, that makes me happier. Now let's put down our words. So I found my glue stick. Move you out of the way. All right, so let's start out with our hot mess. Because that's what we are. We are a hot mess, right? Um, right here. I never expected pain. Here's this one. Never expected pain. And sometimes the courage and the quiet voice. You might not get over it, but you will get through it. So true. And it's going to be hard. Absolutely. Definitely not going to be easy. And I'm working on myself, for myself, and by myself. Now, this doesn't mean you have to do it all yourself. Um, this just means that, you know, you're the one that has to take that first step to start working on it. All right. Now, I'm going to grab my... Ooh, I got glue all over. Glue, glue, glue. I'm going to grab my king-size Sharpie. Oh, I didn't know. There's another size Sharpie. <laughs> Squirrel, here we go, off on another subject. Um, there's a king size Sharpie. Well, my son the other day, he was moving, and I said something about, he said something about his mammoth Sharpie. I'm like, you're what? He goes, I said, the king size? He goes, no, there's a mammoth one. I didn't know that. I think that's really cool, so I'm gonna have to find a mammoth one. I thought this was the biggest one, but apparently not. So I gotta get myself a mammoth Sharpie and see how it works. All right, we got, oops, see, I do that every time. It's all right, it's all good. It's all good. I figure every one of my pages that I outline has an imperfection in it. it has to, because I'm not perfect. Never claimed to be. 
Although my husband says he's Mr. Perfect, which would te technically make me Mrs. Perfect, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, so I'm just gonna take my black Sharpie here, and I just wanna go around these. It's like 80 degrees out there today. It is just fabulous. I'll tell you, <laughs> I hear about snow up north, and I'm like, oh God, I don't miss that at all. I know I hear everybody saying, well, wait till summer when it's so darn hot. Honey, I'll take it. Over, you know, eight months of winter, I will take it. It's all good. I've had enough winter to last me a lifetime. I don't want any more. All right, so, um, you know, when you're working on your page uh, this week, go ahead and get yourself out some magazines and just look for words that are um, conducive to you check out words that you know work in your life or find a stamp that has a quote on it that really applies to you and applies to how you're feeling in your chronic pain um, and you know it doesn't have to be just chronic pain it could be a mental illness such as depression, anxiety, um, bipolar, um, any of the above. It can be, you know, any other type. Maybe um, you're a diabetic. And yeah, it's challenging to be a diabetic, especially in today's world where everything's got tons and tons of sugar in it. So, you know, it doesn't have to be all about chronic pain. It can be anything in your life that's giving you a challenge and you're having a hard time working through. So that's the way I look at it. Um, I hope you guys look at it that way as well. And, you know, I hope you enjoy what I'm giving to you. Um, these, everything I say and everything I do, this is my own personal experience. And the reason I'm doing it and the reason I'm sharing is because, you know, I really wish I would have had somebody to listen to back when I was learning how to live my life like this. Because it would have made the journey so much easier. So there is our main page for Use Our Words. And now, um, like normal, I'm going to flip this baby over. And I'm going to play. And I'm going to play with some more words. I don't think I'm going to use these, but I am going to play. All right, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Let's go ahead. I'm going to fast forward through the back side, and then I will be back to chat with you. Talk in a bit.
right guys so you know I've been playing around with this and I really don't want to do a whole lot more to it but I found these flowers and I thought these flowers would look really cool on here so I'm just gonna add these flowers they're not all the same color that's okay that's not the reason I'm adding them that's all right I just wanted something a little bit different I went ahead and I put some um, glitter let's put this one right here Maybe we'll move this one up. No, let's leave it there. That's good. I don't. It's okay. I don't. I don't mind. Yeah, here I am singing. Sorry, Vicky. <laughs> Friend of mine can't stand that. But anyways, um, I want to change these around. I don't like the way that one looks there. That's better. So basically, this week we talked about using your words. Um, again, this is just my play. Yes, joy. Yes, you can. Um, be strong. Be happy. And then on the front side. Um, you know, just talking about different words and, you know, we need to use these words to describe what's going on in our chronic pain, whether it be mental or physical in any way. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this week. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the um, comments below. I'll be glad to answer anything I can. And as always, have fun. That's what life's all about. Happy creating and I'll talk to you soon. Actually, I'll talk to you next week. Bye-bye.